Hello, everyone here at Give a Hoot Comedy Club at La Mexicana. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here. Yes, we do this open mic comedy every Wednesday at 8 o'clock. And um, just a few housekeeping rules. Uh, the, the restrooms are in the other side and behind the pool tables. And we ask that you please keep your table talk to a minimum. Uh, silence your electronic devices. Uh, tip your wait staff generously. And most important of all, be ready to laugh and have a good time. Yeah, are we behind that? Yeah? Right. It's good. So this is open mic comedy, and um, there are no content restrictions, but I'm trying to put up the more family-friendly uh, people up, up front. But uh, So this is definitely um, adult entertainment, uh, so just you're forewarned. Uh, and, um, yeah, so the main thing is just to kick back and relax and have a good time. Right? Can we do that? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, anybody um, working on their New Year's resolutions? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Anybody want to shout out one? Lose weight. Lose weight. Okay. Well, okay. I got a pro tip for you. I mean, it's only January fourth, and I have already lost inches. Yay! Yeah. You want to know how I did it? I turned up my thermostat and shed those bulky sweaters. <laughs> yeah, so you know you don't have to worry about my energy bill because um, I'm conserving energy by staying in bed and skipping workouts. <laughs> uh, any, anybody have another one they want to throw at me? I got lucky with that one. No, no. Any, anybody make more, money. make more money? Well, I can't help you there. I work in higher ed, so there you go. Um, yeah, no, I, I was focusing on self-care, and I reached my goal of improved self-care, so now I only care about myself. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I think that there's one New Year's resolution that everybody here can get behind, and that is more laughter in 2023. Are we down with that? Yay! All right. That's good. You come to the right place. Yeah, I mean, you've come to see how the sausage is made. Uh, we're trying out a lot of new material, and uh, so you get to see art in the making. Sometimes uh, it's, it's a masterpiece. Sometimes it's abstract art, and you don't know what you're looking at. Sometimes it's super realism, maybe a little too real. But, you know, it runs the whole gamut. So I'm, I'm really glad that you're here to share this with us. One more time, clap it up for yourself. Yay! Right. So I have a question for you. Um, when is Girl Scout cookie season? It, it's January. Is it Girl Scout cookie season? Does anybody know? I don't know. Is, is it, yeah. Is anybody here affiliated with the Girl Scouts? You know, Dead Mothers, True no. Leaders, whatever. Kind. I make the cookies. Oh, okay. Well, good, good, because I can speak my truth. I mean, because so those Girl Scouts, I mean, they have a, a special technique of, of being uh, adorable little savages. Yeah, you want to know where they were set up last time? In front of Weight Watchers. Oh, wow. Yeah, talk about dirty pool. And one, of, uh, and one of those tiny temptresses had the nerve to stop me as I'm going into my meeting to ask me if I want to buy some low-fat cookies. And I'm like, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I don't bring cookies of any kind into my house. And she's like, well, that's okay. You can buy some boxes and we'll donate them to Children's Hospital. Children's Hospital? Well, that's a great idea. Yeah, I mean, the best thing these kids need while they're battling diseases is to fight type 2 diabetes. <laughs> yeah, way to go, Girl Scouts. <laughs> but instead, I said, you know, you ought to set up at the other end of the shopping center in front of the medical marijuana dispensary. <laughs> right? I don't know if you guys heard several years ago there was this Girl Scout in San Diego who sold like 300 boxes of cookies in six hours. Wow. Yeah. And uh, one of the mothers was like, that's not the message we want to send to our children. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, Mrs. Karen. Um, they shouldn't be. Well, I encourage them to be business entrepreneurs. Let's just stick with the diabetes. <laughs> oh, but uh, I went back there the next day, and they were no longer in front of Weight Watchers. Yeah, it's because they moved into the lobby of the L.A. Fitness. <laughs> Savage. But ironically, 
I had to take all those boxes of Girl Scout cookies that I ended up buying and mark them up 50% so I could sell them at a profit in front of the weed dispensary. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's a win-win-win. I mean, the Girl Scouts get to sell their cookies, I get to make a small profit, and the stoners get their munchies. Yeah, yeah, so, so don't anybody judge me. Uh, the Girl Scouts are giving me a merit badge for that. And, and you guys deserve a merit badge for coming out here and supporting live comedy. One more time, clap it up for yourselves. Now, I am getting ready to introduce the co-owner of this club, and uh, he also happens to be the DMV's funniest tax accountant. Everybody, show some love. Start clapping right now for the one, the only, Ken Potter! 